We have our wonderful panelists, um, led by our moderator of Faith, Center of India. I hope you don't mind calling you like that. And I'm just going to um, thank you all of you for so much. Um, I want to put you through the above of that step and uh, I'm just going to start. The National Anthem. Yes. We'll start with the National Anthem. Our eyes of control, Nigeria for the to serve our father. Thank you. 
But I think we can informally agree that women do a better job at multi-task. I can be very simple today, there's no difference from a multitasker like most of you here today. She holds a Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy from the great University of Benin, but currently works as an administrative assistant, a public relations specialist, and advocates for the SDGs. Please, with a warm applause, we welcome the lead MC for today, Ms. Sharon Obama. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, I say, my name is Sharon Bell, and I will focus on the All participants in the process, thank you so much for having us in the listening of the process. I would like to recognize the presence of so many persons here today, and I've mentioned the name, so we can say that this is staff, and if you are representing your organization here, you can just make sure that you are representing us. Alright, so firstly, we have because I am part of our panelists, Mr. Mata Emokari, the administrator of the National American Academy. We also have with us Fable Area Day, the founder of Friends of Nation Network. We have Jennifer Chiamaka, head of partnership in Present here as well is the head coordinator for NYC Education for Nine Million. We have the chairperson in our world in Nigeria, the International Association of Women Journalists, at this work. We have Florence Fortress here. We have Florence Fortress. We also have Friends of Nature Network here. We have the good dog in the house, I say. Okay, it doesn't matter if that I select it and I say car. We have JTI and NPI here. JTI and NPI. And we have representatives from JTI and NPI. So, very quickly, we'll be watching a documentary called Women. We don't know about it, it's just like it, and for example, I said, there's this bias that comes to you, how do you speak from the notion of a woman? Once you just get to a place and you get that the head of that place is a woman, I don't know that that's for working with a woman again. <laughs> but I can say that, I think I started working at Twitter April last year, yes, April last year, and my boss is a female, and this is the best job experience I've ever had. So, if you, if you think that what you need to do is to speak out, then please try to start. So very briefly, let's see what you need to do. Inclusion is the love of the world. It is a celebration of diversity. As we celebrate International Women's Day, it is expedient that we share the spotlight on the wonderful achievements of these women and their positive impact in society. 
Have you ever thought what has happened beyond the body? How do these women navigate their career? How do they handle their professional life and their personal life? We know the society has a preconceived notion of women. In most of the social media stories, women use women to tell their stories themselves. 16 years, I did a professional event comes to MC, and my name is Joy Daniel. My name is Paula Kerr, who you name, and I'm a co-founder and CEO of Women's Response Africa. My name is Precious Dimuwa, and I am the founder and director general of the Joint Review of the Public Service Academy, JUXA. I was inspired to pursue a career in public health because I see every day the fact that people are losing their lives unnecessarily. Um, and I think it's important that we do something about it. Public health is a field that enables me to do that. Why do I choose this career path? Hmm, can you naturally do me? I learned that child who people who want to talk. Joy, stop and tell me this. Joy, go and ask my niece. Joy, go and speak and do the good. Joy, go and do the good and speak a better. So I often talk before the home, classmates, church mates. And when it was time to choose a career path, I chose, I decided to do this. It came naturally and people were willing to pay top dollar to hear my voice. What? <laughs> and I was proud of so far. In over 16 years, I've been able to train over 1,000 eventful companies across Africa. People who speak for a living and good money. I love and thank you God. I was proud to pursue the career in learning and development for more than three years. I remember being a six year old who was at all the name of the kids. I'm not pretty sure we did our assignment, our assignment, and my workshop, and I'll have everybody um, learning from what I learned in school. I was interested because I, I thought they had. Uh, when you teach, you learn twice. So that's something I continue to do. And I remember when I learned investment banking to go to my back and management to make a change. And one day, I was taking a tutorial around in England. And I did not fit me while I was uh, at the LSE, I got to do the short course. And I just thought to myself, hmm, I'm a teacher that came to me. I did not to do it. And I decided to train my career, dedicate my life uh, to do what I absolutely love within the fancy world. So, navigating setbacks and challenges, number one, I always say that every setback. Is feedback. It shows you something you could do better. So if I left the client, it means I either didn't manage the relationship well, for better relationship management, for instance, or I didn't do something of follow up as I should have to do better follow up next time. Every time there is a setback, that's an opportunity for me to learn, for me and my team to learn what could we do differently to change the outcome next time. So I have never in 16 years, that's something people say in my in my entire life, I have never been absolutely beaten down by any challenge because I ever see an opportunity to learn something. Challenges are also opportunities for growth. When there is a challenge, the moment I can learn the system, the tactics, or the strategy to overcome that challenge, what happens to me? I'm better. So I embrace challenges and I teach people to embrace challenges. I have three sons in university. I teach them to embrace challenges because they look for who we are. I think one of the biggest uh, requirements to be any kind of successful um, is resilience. And um, resilience is really about being able to deal with challenges when they come, bounce back, even when you're locked down. Um, I find myself in situations where I have to, you know, weep and cry or I have to go and look for support or I have to ask for help. But at the end of the day, whatever the circumstances, I try to figure out the way to come from this. I have been very challenging and said that in my professional life, like anyone who has ever been, right? Uh, but one of the things that helped me is my philosophy of life. I'm very strong in how I approach life. I believe that all I've done to be training. I believe strongly that for me to get to where I need to be, I need to go through a very intense curriculum, which is what I call it again as a teacher. So typically when I'm faced with challenges, my thinking is, who do I become after this? Because I find that every time I am faced with a challenge, I become someone else. 
I recommend better version of myself because there's a thing that comes to talk to me, especially talk to yourself, your impulses, your ego, your challenges, your limitations. So for me, it's very exciting to meet every challenge with curiosity. So, hmm, what is this here to teach me? And who do I become for this, this challenge? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think uh, I'll talk about one, and that's my mother. Um, my mother is a very uh, entrepreneurial woman. She's also very hardworking, and I think she set a really great example for my siblings and I um, as to what a successful woman looks like, someone who's able to be successful in their chosen career, but also in their life, you know, with their family, with their friends, uh, in every facet of life. So many women have influenced my career, uh, starting from my grandma, who made me more ahead. Um, very illustrious woman. I have heard so many stories of how she was playing across villages, and that resonated deeply here. And of course, my mom, who I call the line girl, uh, she's done so much, she's broken barriers, uh, she's gone beyond, and she's, of course, she's one of my mentors. And then there is Oprah. The woman who offers you just one day. I mean, the next thing is, I want to be your CP as the more in a similar to offer. And of course, that I'm back in my game, so many uh, women who influence me, uh, like Mrs. Rotini, uh, I used to study the University of Pate, um, the Guy Excellency, um, Betsy, you know, Pate, who's an amazing, powerful uh, woman. Uh, the Nathalie Captain, our female speaker, but she's very great. And the Nathalie Banner, and there's so many, many, many. Oh, there's Dr. John of Yahweh, who operates as a life here at the country of the team. I have seen her pretty well, and I've been a few times with him. So, yes, I'm very blessed to have so many women who can be here. I mean, I think, I think that's inevitable, as long as you're a woman and you're a woman in any kind of business setting. Um, you know, it, I think as simple as you know, people looking at you and making assumptions about who you are, what you are capable of, what you are not capable of, um, I certainly face that. But to be honest, I don't spend a lot of time thinking about it. Um, my philosophy is okay, no problem, that's what you think. You can't control what you think. All I can do is control my own actions um, and responses. And I think, you know, by the grace of God, every situation that I've found uh, myself in, I'm able to prove myself. I think we don't need to be able to find it in the In fact, when I started, I didn't know that it was, you know, I didn't have a name for it. But I noticed that it was called that, we will have events, and everybody was expecting me to be so cheap. I found that very strange. I have a 4.0 CGPA in economics. I have a brain that works. I want to do strategy. I want to think. And they're like, oh, no, 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 um, no, why do you not say anything to less that? Why do you not have a long life to you? No, no, thank you. And that day I decided to dedicate my career to excellence. I said, people will say whatever they like about me, but no one will question my competence. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Of this beautiful day, I'm sure you've come to realize that every story. Every voice and every journey is a unique thread that we have been of empowerment. Thank you so much for This is Dr. Facebook.
the Canada was campaigning for president, and there was a woman campaigning beside him, Erica and his share. So, <laughs> she doesn't say, okay, so why she was uh, going to give us this, and I was watching a cat play also. And the guy decided to just say that this one is really good. So she was like, she went away from her request for her. So we already have, even the women don't want to vote for the women in primary. It's like, they don't want them to vote for the children. They just feel like, what's the woman who is a person? How is she? You just wait for the guy ask us that. How is she going to talk about all the bad guys? I'm not going to say that it's the wrong thing to carry the world back. What I'm trying to say is that you have not just vote for the kids. You have a whole lot of things that you can do. Alright. So, like I earlier said, that we have the issues here, and one of them, we coming up here, we know her as a particular person. But I'll bring this part of her that we do not know about her. You know, it's very easy for us to say that this person is the wife of this person, or is the daughter of this person. But then, what is the person's identity? So, I'll be telling those identities now. Why are we doing it? I guess, I, I think you don't this part, so it's like, I don't have a question. Alright, so, I guess it's an alumnus of Kellogg School of Business and Medicine Management, program from the Northwestern University in the United States. She previously worked for Lincoln Finance Services Limited as the head of business development and social manager. Otherwise known as leading company of Lagos, it's a subsidiary of Bank of Industries. After that, she rose to the ranks at the Bank of Industry, where she worked as the head of strategy and corporate transformation, as well as the assistant general manager. Presently, she okay, she is the CEO and managing director of Bank of Industry of investment rather and trust management committee, which is another subsidiary of Bank of Industry Limited. While working at the Bank of Industry, she has achieved quite a lot. She was first woman to become assistant general manager of the company when she worked as the head of our responsibility lay in the sphere of rich assets of the agro allied sector, doing her work as the head of strategy. She was responsible for developing the first customer care chapter of Bank of Industry. We can list more of our achievements at the bank, but that would take us the whole day. In her years, she worked as a merchant banker, investment banker, and development banker. She worked with International Merchant Bank Nigeria, IMB Security Limited, and also with Atincola Williams and Co. She's a fellow of ICA, Institute of Credit Administrator, and she is also a member of Institute of Director, Nigeria Institute of Management, and Association of Investment and Technology. <laughs> Professional, so professional, 
Ah, ele vai no meio de mó.
do all sorts of things that allow the man to condemn that. So you need these pet thoughts to know your work, know your value, know your place in life and to rise and to rise up to that occasion. But I always say that we talk about women empowerment, we push women to get to positions of governance, empowerment, and all of that. What's for women to do? I would never, and I've always fought against putting the wrong people in position. Not for women's sake. We must put forward our best all the time. Because the men use that as an excuse to marginalize us. Because the space, I mean, talk about it, the space that we are facing now, politics, and all In those days, I think we can get a special investment that we can talk about. Who came in, determined to change the way politics is and to clean up the politics. We hear in politics, it's all the women who know how to speak with men. Nothing in their heads. All they have is thoughts. And they are not planners. So you give them positions, they can't stop. And then tomorrow, when you're putting a woman upon the men, you say, You feel like all these women are going to be You get it. So we must always give our best. And so, for us to be able to give our best, we must know and learn that we need to be the best thing. We need to acquire confidence in the best thing. Because I don't know what I'm saying. We have to qualify women who can come and stand shoulder to shoulder with us. So you need to know that. And we all need to begin to grow ourselves, develop ourselves as human beings and as people, as women. Acquire knowledge, get training, go to school if you have one, if you can. You can't go there, you need to be started online. Look at the trend that the world is going now. The world, um, the technology is everything. Every moment we share in the world, we are equally managing the world. Acquire that knowledge. Just plain knowledge. Knowledge is I mean, this world is going to a place where if you don't know anything, you don't have knowledge, you will be as good as dead. And nobody is too old to learn. And there are all kinds of simplified ways of acquiring knowledge that people have created around the world and around different systems. Acquire competences that will make you better at what you do, so that you have something to sell to the men, to the world. You have something to eat, but find on the table while they are calling for women to come and occupy positions, calling for women. Again, I want to an example that she went about this time. I said to her, I don't want to stay in the deputy speaker of the house of our country. I said, woohoo! I said, I said, she's a lawyer. And I said, next time, just for the course of having a PhD. I met her, 10 years ago, when we came to campaign to come for the government. Position. She came up to me for the campaign and she had no election and she said to me that she's been trying, there's a head of two years ago, and she had been trying to push a particular deal or law called violence against the disposition law, not the bad law, with former first lady. She didn't make any headway, so she was hoping. Asking me to take on a, a project for my own abroad as well as what I have to do. For the states to domesticate the law and I've been in Africa at a federal level and the various states are going to domesticate it in the state and she was struggling to get this done and so on. And I said, I want to be the center of working together. Share that one. I want to one in the election. I want 
hard working and stay up to hard writing on paper and working. And upright. Not one of the rough and the thieves. And all of that. Do you get? So when they will receive and apply knowledge and confidence and have strength and, and problems. Who seek the food of other So I told you first attempt to create the election for the political system. As she entered, and people who got the long run, they got an attack on them around again. Walk over. Because you have been doing work in my place. In our own little way, in the pure heart. To mother, to dad, even our husbands and men and our mothers, we are the ones who can even pull them away from what from the I don't know if my mother told me what I'm saying. My mother, she can't do it, she can do it, she can do it, she she can do it. I want to finish something. I was one of my first ones. So what? Okay? Then acquire the heart of God. You got here and then it 
acquire the law of what? The law of Nigeria. The law of the first day. Acquire it. Don't hate it. The full day of the first day. Don't hate it. Love them. Love their God as this. Love God for that. Give them grace. Nurture it. Think it's good. I want the all people that are coming to the world of God. And it's not Thank you. 